Hi there. Now, as you can see, the answers to part A then for the second term was 3k minus 12, third term 9k minus 48, and the fourth term 27k minus 156. In part B, the value of k was 19 thirds, and in part C, the exact numerical sum was either 112 over 3 or 37 and a third. So just to take you through this, then we were given this recurrence relationship here. UN plus 1 equals 3UN minus 12. We're given the first term, U1 equals K. So in order to find the second term, all I did was set N equal to 1 in here. If N equals 1, you get U2 equals 3U1 minus 12. And then we knew that U1 was K, so you just get 3K minus 12. Next term, u3, you set n equal to 2, and you get this relationship. Substitute u2, which we just found, as 3k minus 12 into here. Expand the bracket and simplify, and you get 9k minus 48. And then repeat the process again, setting n equal to 3 for u4, and you get 3u3 minus 12. Substitute what u3 is in to here. Expand and simplify. Then for part B, we were given U4 equals 15. So all I did was equate U4 here to 15 and solve the equation for K to give me 19 thirds. Now for part C, we had to find the sum of the first four terms. Okay, when I was 1, you got U1 plus U2 plus U3 all the way up to U4. Then... All I've done is I've substituted k into u1 and got that u1 was 19 thirds. Substituted k into u2 here and that came out to be 7. Then into here it turned out to be 9 and into here it turned out to be 15. So it's just a question of adding those four terms together, giving an exact numerical value. And it can be either 112 over 3 or 37 and a third. OK, so if you're unsure anyway or want more examples on recurrence relationships, just go to my website, check out the tutorials and examples on those. OK.